We're seeing more districts and businesses roll back those COVID restrictions. One big factor is the drop in cases. New numbers this morning show the state's case average is down. Get this nearly 90% since we hit that peak from our last surge in January when Omicron was driving those numbers up. Our state has seen a consistent decline in new cases week over week. This past weekend, Department of Public Health, they only added about 3,900 antigen and PCR cases to our total. These numbers amount to less than 1,000. However, we still have a little ways to go before reaching levels we saw before the latest surge. Right now, our case average is still in the 2,200 range. And even though COVID cases are dropping here in Georgia and all across the nation, we are not in the clear just yet. No, the Omicron variant may have crested but the fight certainly isn't over. Reed Binion reports it's all new this morning. In less than three weeks, the world will mark the second anniversary of the declaration of COVID-19 as a pandemic by the World Health Organization. At this point, nearly two years later, after multiple waves, case counts in the U.S. are overall on the decline. New cases averaging roughly 103,000 per day. That's the lowest level since early December when Omicron was surging. Hospitalizations declining 26% from last week. But with just 28% of people in the U.S. now boosted and the pace of vaccination slowing, experts say the push for full vaccination and boosting remains critical. I think it's safe to assume that we're not done vaccinating for this virus. And an additional recommended booster dose may be ahead. The FDA says while it's continuing to monitor new data, officials could recommend another boost in fall. Many of us expect that in the years to come, we will have yearly doses of COVID vaccine the same way that we do for the flu vaccine in order to protect us against new variants that rear their head as we go into cold weather months. This comes amid encouraging news about COVID treatments. According to a new, not yet peer-reviewed study in India, Merck's antiviral drug Molnupiravir cut hospitalization risk by 65%, an improvement over a previous study of the drug. It was a approved by the Food and Drug Administration in December to treat some cases.